Fashion was really important to her. When she started out her career, she didn't, of course, have a lot of money and she didn't have a massive wardrobe. So I'm talking about back in her days, even of North Dakota. She would say that people would lend her dresses. She knew that she needed to, you know, present herself on stage. That was really important to her. And as she grew in her career and she got older, that whole thought of presenting herself was really a key element. Like she she almost morphed into Miss Peggy Lee every night when she would go on stage. Like during the day, it was just regular Peggy Lee. And then she'd become Miss Peggy Lee. And a huge part of that would be what she was wearing. So starting out with borrowing gowns, and then as she got more famous, she could actually buy things for herself and choose designers. It was wonderful to look back at pictures of her in her, you know, early career where she's wearing these gorgeous beaded gowns and satin gowns. And she had such a great figure, too. So she looked really great. And then she got into the 50s where she was actually in movies. And then she's getting these beautiful gowns designed for her. Um, Edward Sebesta was a, a designer that she loved a lot. And Aunt P. Kelly's Blues and the jazz singer Howard Shoup was the costume designer. She kind of fell in love with fashion. And I think that it was almost a form of armor for her when she would go on stage. Like it would help protect her and make her feel powerful and strong. And then as the years went by, she started having ideas about how she wanted to look and knowing her shape and what worked for her. So she would work with some other lesser known designers, but she would end up telling them, I want this, I want this, I want this. And then finally, She just started designing her own thing. And so I have a lot of sketches that she's put together. And she hired a seamstress, the woman that worked for her for years. Her name was Ophelia. And she would just come to the house. And so whatever my grandmother would sketch up, my grandmother would go to a fabric store here in downtown L.A. and pick out the most gorgeous fabric. She loved silk. And she didn't just want one layer of silk. She wanted two layers of silk. She loved satin and charmeuse penne, velvet, and then she loved to accessorize with beads and feathers. So part of when she would start to create a show, as much as she would like to pick the songs and the arrangers, and she would also start planning her wardrobe. Like, I want this kind of gown, and this is the look for the first act, and this is the look for the second act. So she would create these wonderful, very glamorous gowns for herself. And then, of course, her day clothes, too. She she started creating a look for interviews, like pantsuits, because she didn't wear gowns in the in the day. And actually, when she got older, she really didn't wear dresses for the day. It was more silk pantsuits. And she designed all of those, too, in every different color. 